Hi everybody, thanks for landing here. Are you trying to request for a payment from your client? Is it going to be your first experience and don't know how to? If so, you have landed on the right video. So let's begin our journey and let me walk you through on how to request for a payment from your client. So in order to do so, all you need to do is just log into your penny account and get to receipt section where you'll see request a payment option so just hit on it and it will lead you to this page where you will be able to see this section okay if it's your first time then this will be empty and uh, since it's not my first time for me uh, this history has been shown okay and uh, let's say we are having a first experience here when it comes to requesting for a payment from a client so just enter a client's email name or company here or else just go to add new pen here okay for for me i need to do that and uh, here we have two options so whether we are asking a payment from a company or an individual so we need to choose any one of these for now let me choose an individual okay and enter a first name here and uh, you need to enter last name here enter clients email here and select a country so For now, let me choose. Let me go with. Okay, United States of America. And for United States of America, we also need to enter the state. Okay. So. Okay, let me go with. Okay, Mississippi and uh, once you are done here just hit the next button and okay so for usd the minimum amount we can request is 20 usd okay and uh, let's check if we can see different uh, minimum amount here okay for let's say we want to get paid in uh, okay gbp so here we can see Choose your payers local currency for lower fees and more ways to pay. So this means to, uh, this means to say that if your payer is or if a person who is, go, who is going to pay you is from let's say UK, then we have the option GBP, right? So we can get paid in GBP. Or let's say if a person is from Australia, then we have the option for uh, AUD so for now let's go with usd and for usd the min, min, uh, minimum amount should be 20 okay let's say we are going to request for 50 dollars okay 50 usd and here description we have to enter the reason so let's say i'm gonna request a payment for a design let's say design uh of let's say a logo so once done uh, get down to payment due by section so we can just you know enter or select the date by which we want to get paid okay so let me go with 26th of December so I should be paid by 26th okay so let me give one week of time to my client so that he or she can pay me okay and uh, we have this final one which is uh, I've got two options here since I've been doing a, you know a freelancing work on Fiverr it has automatically shown this one and this is just my name so okay let me just enter my name for now and hit on next and the final step here is to drag our you know files so it says supported file types pdf doc doc x jpg uh, jpg 
DIFF, BMP, XLX, XLSX. Upload up to 10 MB. So the maximum file should be 10 MB. Okay, so if you have got, you can just enter here. And uh, once you are ready, you can just hit on. Uh, and if you want to preview it, you can just hit on preview and see. And if you need to make any changes, you can just you know change anything if you want if you see anything wrong and finally just get to request payment and just hit on it and okay so request a payment submitted and we can see our uh, request ID number here and uh, we also have these services so we can copy the link okay link we can also you know contact our client through whatsapp you know share the uh, request payment link through whatsapp through skype or facebook messenger so we can see this info here automatic reminder schedule one week before due date on due date one week after due date okay so i've already copied one link here and uh, okay so here you can see you have a new payment request okay bimash bunga 50 usd payment for design of logo so this is how our client will see and uh, they will continue with the process by clicking on pay now so they will easily receive the emails and they will you know start uh, following the process and they will pay us and if you would like to go and check your payment requests you know send and you can go to activity and select payment request send option and here we have the uh, history so just hit on it and uh, we have the client uh, name here the amount we have requested and it says payment request pending okay due by 26 december 2021 and we can see that on the timeline we can see you sent a payment request means we have already sent so payment request pending it is of course pending and payment made by client once the payment is made by the client this will be marked similarly payment on its way this will be marked and uh, once the uh, you know payment lands on our account this will be marked and we can also see the details here request uh, details pay your details and uh, if you like to you know cancel request then you can hit on this and if if you are already paid you can just mark as paid or we can also send reminder to the client for early payment okay so in this way we can easily request for a payment from our clients so that we can get paid easily so i hope you found this video useful and if you are especially new to this channel please make sure to subscribe make sure to like and uh, you know make sure to share with your friends so all the best